Welcome to Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, one of the most beautiful and peaceful cities in all of America. But on March 28, 1979, an event occurred that changed the face of this country forever. It was built on a sandbar called Three Mile Island in the middle of Pennsylvania's Susquehanna River just 10 miles downstream from the state capital of Harrisburg. The plant's U-2 reactor had been generating electricity for nearly a year. It all started with a simple plumbing breakdown and a small valve opened to relieve the pressure in the reactors. It malfunctioned and failed to close. This in turn caused cooling water to draw from the main valve. The nuclear reactor core began to overheat. Technical failures were increased by human error. Baffled by faulty numbers, operators shut off emergency water systems that would have cooled the core. If the operators were to do nothing, the plant would have saved itself. They, were thought, they thought they were saving it. Really, they just assured it's doing. The heart of the nuclear power plant is its radioactive core. It's like a nuclear furnace. It creates controlled chain reactions that generates heat. The problem was that the cooling system began to leak out water, causing the reactor to overheat. The accident did not occur till 4 o'clock in the morning, but the residents surrounding the Three Mile Island were not notified till the late hours of the day. That morning I went to get my paper and I heard fire trucks and police cars going toward the plant. They were undecided as to whether or not to evacuate the city, but then Governor Dick Thornburn decided that there would be a limited evacuation, which meant women and preschool aged children would be evacuated. Women and children only? What about me? Is it my safety opponent? I wasn't happy with this. Dick Thornburn, you can show that townspeople were not happy with this decision. We have gotten an interview with a former executive from Three Mile Island. For security purposes, we cannot reveal his name. Like most disasters, important facts were kept from the public in the Three Mile Island incident. As a member of the Blue Ribbon Panel, set up by President Carter to investigate the TMI accident, in which we were kept in silence, These cover-ups must be uncovered. There were concerns as to whether or not there would be health or any environmental effects as a result of the accident at Three Mile Island. For more information, listen to The Scientist. This scientist will tell you that the studies found that the radiation releases during the accident were minimal well below any levels that have been associated with health effects and radiation exposure. The average radiation dose to people living within 16 kilometers of the plant was 8 millirems, with no more than 100 millirems to any single individual. The level of 8 millirems is about equal to a chest x-ray, and 100 millirems is about a third of the average background level of radiation received by U.S. residents in a year. Leave it that! While well, we thought the re reactor's core was uncovered on the morning of March 28, a high temperature chemical reaction between water and zinc alloy metal tubes holding the nuclear fuel pellets had created our hydrogen gas. In order to shut down the reactor, they must reduce the pressure, but lowering the pressure would cause the bubble to get bigger, which would push the water out leading to a meltdown. But then again, it turned out that the formula that we were using was wrong, and the bubble wouldn't explode anyway. After all the turmoil, the plant failsafe security system came through and was able to contain the core fuel that melted. Luckily, there were no injuries whatsoever. Had the plant melted down, millions of lives would have been affected and many would have died. This was America's first nuclear disaster. It changed the way we look at the safety of nuclear power plants here and all over the world.